Hello, this is Castle and welcome to Final Fantasy VI. Advanced. That was a great way to do that, you know? Yeah, I'm playing this next. Yay, I guess. Um, I think you could have probably figured out that Final Fantasy VI was coming. But maybe not that it would be the advanced version. Which I actually have a reason for taking this one. Specifically, I did quite a lot of um, research between, well I should read this first, uh, The Ancient War of the Magi, when its flames at last receded, only the charred husk of, the, of a world remained. The power of magic was lost, is what it said. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic and life slowly returned to the barren land. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past, and use this dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Yes. Always. the city. Hard to believe an Esper has been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Bah, probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know about that. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident that the information was good. Ah yes, our witch. I heard she fried 50 of our Magitech armored soldiers in three minutes! Kinda makes your skin crawl, don't it? Relax. With that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. We'll approach from the east. Move out! So, there's this mysterious green-haired girl who seems to be under some sort of for some form of mind control. What a start. Uh, anyway, now that credits roll. I'm gonna go ahead and explain what I was explaining before. Um, about why I picked fo advanced version. I did quite a lot of research on the different versions of the game to see the advantages of each, and it was a big toss-up between this and the PS1 version. However, I've, clearly I settled on advanced. Uh, wow, this is really loud. The reason I did that... Uh, no, I, I can't change the volume, can I? Shoot. Oh well, I'll just need to put up with it. Uh, call it practice. But I settled on advanced, uh, ultimately because I felt that though there are certainly issues with this version of the game, there are parts of the translation that are a lot better, but there's other parts where they sort of not so better, I guess you could say. Like, as I under as from what I can tell, they sort of made a lot of the lines a lot less subtle in this version, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not really a good thing either. However, in exchange for that, we have we also have a much more well, you know, you'll you'll see. I'll probably be pointing out di differences as I notice them and as they come up. 
between this and the PS1 version. I haven't actually played it on Super Nintendo, this game on Super Nintendo, but I have played it on PS1, which is why I know the differences there. And in any case, between the two versions it's the same translation, and that's the biggest difference for me. Okay, well the music's over, so I guess I can just break the credits, uh, now, by pressing a button. But I will say this, the one thing that really cinched using this version is that I've done three other Final Fantasy games in the advanced version, so it made sense to do this one this way as well, you know? May as well make it the full set. Well that plus also, one other reason that'll come up quite late in the game that was added in for just for this version. But you'll see that when it happens. In any case, let's get on with the show. The girl takes point, and don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're, excuse me, here for. Let's move. Okay, we're in control now. In this version, we start to open our menu. So, which I need to do, Magitech Elite, question marks. The green-haired girl witch. But, anyway, uh, actually, I'm in here because I want to change stuff in the config. I want the battle speed to be faster. Uh, I want this to be a little slower. Let's see, I want this to be set to remember. And I want auto dash. Plus also, I was going to show this off. Although, in this case, I think I'm going to defy expectation and actually keep the default window palette. Uh, although partially that's because I don't want to bother messing with all the values to recolor it. I, I will admit. There's also a beastery in here, which I will never use. But it's there. So, you know, y if you need it, well, you know where to find it. Uh, we'll cover some of this other stuff as the, it, they become relevant, because it's really not yet. We have nothing. Except for a mysterious pendant worn by the girl who pilots the Magitech armor. Hmm. In any case, on with the show. We're in some... So the big heavy armor we're in, by the way, is Magitech armor, in case you couldn't figure that out on your own. I have to assume you could. The Empire's got no business here. Uh, oh, wait, you, th you, th you, th you suck your dog on us? Why would you do- wow, look at all these options. Let's start off with something simple. Like a fire beam. Wow, look at that damage! And at only level 3. Oh, he run ran off. Is there even anything up here? Uh, no. We can't get past in our clunky armor. I suppose that... happens. Imperial Magitech armor? Not even Nash is safe- Narsh, rather, is safe anymore. And guards! Let's go with Thunder Beam this time. And Ice Beam. By the way, I'll point this out now. Notice that our mysterious witch here has a magic command. The other two guys don't. That is... If you're paying attention in the intro, no one should have magic. It sort of died out in the Magitech Wars, so it's very odd that she's able to use it. Uh... For Nash! Narsh, I mean. Oi. You sent your dogs first, eh? But they're supposed to be man's best friend! Oh well. Let's actually... This is a good time to show off something that is the first time ever I can do in a Final Fantasy that I've recorded. Change the active player. In this, in the advanced version, you do this by pressing the select button. I believe it's triangle in the PS1 version and probably like Y or something on the Super Nintendo. 
Uh, let's use something that only Terra can do. The Bio Blaster. This is a personal favorite of mine, actually. Yeah. And what you didn't see is that the Bio Blaster will hit everyone. It's, it's quite effective. On that note, let's use Healing Force, because we haven't done it yet. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to top up our Mysterious Wave. In the meantime, uh, let's use Confuser. That sounds interesting. I wonder what it'll do. It, it, it confused them. Go figure, right? Um, yeah. Not really much to say to that. Uh... Oh, it hit him. He hit himself. <laughs> Clearly, though, compared to our overwhelming power, these guards are total pushovers. And we got a potion! Cool! So... Uh, you know, there's something I need to mention, but... Th that can wait for a little bit later. I guess we'll just keep exploring this town that people keep trying to keep attacking us in. Because we haven't actually initiated any battles here. They just keep doing this. Oh hey, we are surrounded, and... Pinzer attack! I think this is the first game that actually implemented these. I think. Which is nice, you know? It's actually a pretty neat thing. It's really too bad that they didn't keep at it for very long. Like, it's in this game, and it's in Final Fantasy VII, but I don't think they used it any ap more after this. Um, let's use Banisher. Oh, I should heal Wedge. Vanish to another dimension! And Ice Beam. Huzzah! Oh hey, question mark gained a level. Cool. Something I should mention actually, I'll do it now is that the way recruiting characters in this game works is that your level of your current party, your average level, is the level that new recruits usually come in on. Sometimes a level too higher, but their level is based on the level of your current party members when you, when you recruit them for the first time. What that means is that if you have a higher level, you get new characters at a higher level. Which in turn means that right now, because we are really overpowered in this area, um, and we have limited people, if you were so inclined, you can grind in this area for like a few hours, get to like around level 20, and steamroll the first half of the game. Now I'm not going to do that, because for one thing, I don't think it would be very fun to watch. And for another thing, it is very suboptimal to do it. Uh, for re because we don't actually have something yet that we will later want to help. Uh, we'll make our level ups more worthwhile, I guess you could say. That that said, I would be loath to not mention the possibility. It may not be something I'm doing, but it's certainly something you can do. Defend the mines! And there's four of them this time. Megalodoth, eh? Let's see how you like Magitech Missile! Also, Fire Beam. And Ice Beam. Pretty cool missile. Pretty effective, anyway. Bio Blaster! 
Again, this is really just my favorite one. It hits everyone, and in any area you actually can use it. Because you can't actually- because, to be perfectly honest, you can't use Bioblaster in every area. But in every area you can use it, it just kills everything. Plus it looks cool. Plus, it's, plus it is not a standard elemental. I think it might be an elemental, but it's not ice, lightning, or fire. So things- most things don't absorb it. According to the source, they unearthed the Frozen Esper in a new mine shaft they were digging. What is the Frozen Esper? I guess that's why we're here, but... Why would it be frozen? Well, I- actually, having said that, I think I can guess why it would be frozen. Uh, but I digress. Into the mine. Can we go in here? No. I guess we're too big in our big armor. What we can do is fight random battles. Excuse me, which is where the grinding part would come in. If we were doing that, which I'm not. But you know, if I were so inclined to do so, this right here is how you would do it. Oh, these absorb poison. Uh, oops. Yep, so much for that's effective on everything. Um, anyway. Oops. I guess, I guess that happens. What you gonna do? Not much. Got a potion, though, that's nice. So, what I will say, though, is... If you if you don't want to grind in here, but you want to make sure that the part right after this is not really hard, you probably want to make sure that our mysterious wave here is at least level 5 before you leave this area, I will say. I'm not going to do any grinding to do it, that, and I'll probably... No, I know how save points work. Save! But yeah, I'm not going to do any special grinding for it, and I'll probably hit level 5 easily enough. But, anyway... But, it, it's just so, to warn you. If you are worried, that's a good level to aim for. I'll handle this. Stand back! And in we go! We're not handing over the Esper. Ymir! Ye Ymir. Y I no. No. I I can't pronounce that. I the Or at least not without uh, some sort of gu pronunciation guide. Cause I, that's not an English name. Uh, hold it! This thing's, uh... They must have trained it to guard the mines! That does seem to be the case. What are you talking about? You know what this is? Ever hear of a lightning whelk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning. And stores it in the shell! Right. So whatever you do... Don't attack the shell! Which... Plus also, since they didn't actually mention this, obviously you should not use Thunder Beam on it either. It, it, it wouldn't end well. What you should use is Magitech Missile. Because it's non-elemental and incredibly powerful. Now, it seems easy to not attack the shell. You just aim for the head instead of the shell. Uh... Until it does this. We can't target the head anymore, only the shell. Uh... When it does this, you should... If you're hurting, take the opportunity to heal. And if not, just... Sorry about that. Uh... And if not, you don't need to heal, as is the case now, you should just wait for... 
Well, you'll see. From this. The head is back, and now we can just hit it with everything we gain. This is a super easy boss. It's bit We're still basically in the tutorial area, so that's sort of kind of to be expected, really. Hey, I think we killed it. Look at that solve. We got a high potion, yay! Huh, I thought that gave you experience. Well, I'm still not grinding, so... Oh well. Oh right, these things, I forgot about them. I think these are actually just the weakest enemy in the game. I mean, well, maybe not the weakest, actually. I can think of one or two other ones that's really pathetic. But still, these are among the weakest enemies in the game. So obviously, not a big concern for us. Right now. Uh, that looks kind of frozen. So, this is the Frozen Esper. Ooh, mysterious music. This thing is giving me the creeps. Something's not right. Oh, what you doing, my green-haired waif? The frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. Wh where's that light coming from? And then he died. What was that? Wedge? Wedge, where are you? Hey, hey! What, what, what's going on? And then he also died. Will our mysterious witch Chan also die? I sure hope not. Well, something's happening. It doesn't seem to be quite the same, though. Oh. And then she died. And the game was over, or not. Um. How did we get here? And who, for that matter, what happened to Big, Biggs and Wedge? Uh, and we can move around. What? Where am I? My, my. And I just removed the crown. My head hurts. Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others use were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts. Making it so you do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry, it'll all come back to you. In time, that is. Okay, I've got to take a second to say it right now. That I'm at an amnesia plot is kind of cliche. But this is somewhere where it actually kind of makes sense. Because it's a device that was screwing with her mind in all sorts of ways. It makes sense that it would cause short-term memory loss. And it makes sense that you would recover from that memory loss over time. 
which is completely not the case for most amnesia plots. Uh, anyway, a mysterious young woman born with the gift of magic and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. Yes, our mysterious waif is indeed called Terra. Or Tina in the Japanese version, but I like- I prefer Terra, personally. My name is... Tina, or, uh, Terra. Impressive! I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Uh oh, this doesn't look very good. Open up, we're here for the Magitek Armor Pilot! Open this door right now and hand over that girl! She's an agent of the Empire! Empire? Magitek Armor? There's no time to explain! You need to get out of here! The fools aren't going to listen to reason. This way, quickly! Uh, in a second. We actually want to investigate something in here first. Not that, though. Uh, there we go, the clock. We got an elixir! The very first hidden item in the game. One of many. Hmm. On that note, however... Did the music just change? Huh. Make your way out of town through the mines! I'll try to buy you some time. And we will do that! Uh... Well... Except... Uh-oh. We've been spotted. And they just ran off? That- that boats poorly. Is there a thing here? No, I suppose not. So, on that note, this is nearly 30 minutes in, and the first few ep episodes of this LP are going to be longer than normal, but I would like to keep them under 30 minutes. So, with that said, I'm going to stop off here. Join me next time as we escape with Terra through the mines and hopefully to freedom, and we can figure out what's going on. But until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with KS Blue, and have a nice day.